going to make a break. Well, an incredibly dangerous move back in time because they have no other choice. So, okay, so here's the sun. And oh! The, and the earth moves elliptical. I see. The rules are not too far. At some point, they need to jump too far. Exactly. How? Because and what star are they destroying in that? In that? Yeah, who knows? So obviously, like, the Earth moves elliptical around the Sun. Well, no. More of, like, a, also forward. I know. I'm taking the... I'm, yeah, yeah. I know there's that spin that goes to, throughout to, the... Through uh, expansion of the universe. Yes, but, 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 if it's heliocentric, that's okay. Because that's based around that being the center. Uh-huh. So you can still do uh -huh. that, and that's okay. Um, so the, the points of where these ellipses actually meet up are actually quite rare. Mm. So the, maybe they get lucky and they can Those go back. Those are the coordinates we need yeah, to yeah. Go. And they're at one mm -hmm. point jumping anyway. Jumping here, jumping here, and then we... Well, they jump can't jump to... The, they'll jump, yes. they'll stay from here to here, and it's when the... Wait, meet. do they go back to no, where no, no, they... No, 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 this is the sun. Mm -hmm. And they're at one point, so they have to just pick a point at which the Earth might... Is, is somehow met back up again. So uh, maybe if they're lucky, it's like 20 years ago or something like that. And then putting some sort of... And even then, it's on a different timeline. Why is the only solution destroying the CERN completely?